This is spectacular. These beans, man. Oh. All right. Hey y'all, welcome back. All right, in this video, y'all come along with us as we explore some of Northwest Puerto Rico's best beaches. And we got a surprise. We get to tour an earth ship. All right, y'all, let's go. In 200 meters, turn left onto Calle Jose de Jesus Esteves, Paseo Jesus. Real Marina. <laughs> Welcome to Aguadilla. Right here at the water. <laughs> the city behind us. People out here today. It's about 87 degrees. RV life. <laughs> Come on, Coleman. <laughs> I don't know. Aquadia seems like a really cool little place. A lot of uh, jet ski rentals and uh, the beach looks a little rocky. So I guess that's why they just out there with their jet skis and boats and stuff. No, it's some sand down here. Oh, you saw some sand? Yeah. Oh, okay. I saw it. I said, this is a nice place. Okay. I will. That's some parking here. A lot, a lot of little uh, places to eat, of course. You will not be short of places to eat here, that's for sure. A little brunch spot right there. So we're gonna ride down this little coastline along the water for a little while. And then uh, there's some more at the beach part over there. And um, then we're gonna keep heading toward, oh yeah, here we go. There it is. Small little beach with some big waves. So, yeah, we're gonna continue this little journey and we'll see y'all on the Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Parque Colon, Colon Park. I'm just gonna whip around, come back out. It's a little crowded here today. They got my cool catch. Uh oh, you need to get you some shades too, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a nice beach, though. Mm -hmm. It looks clean. Art root top experience. Get That's you some Cheetos nice mini donuts. Oh, this one I can have too. Rooftop experience. This would be a cool little place to come hang out, but it looks like it would definitely be crowded on the weekends. Because today is Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's got some shade, so that's good. Okay. And there's a little, like, um, pier. This is very nice. 
Yep. This would have been our destination. Oh, there we are the pinchos. Danny's pinchos. Ooh. Chicken on the stick. Pinchos. Oh, it's a tree house. Yeah, hold another island over there. Close That's the pretty cool. <laughs> so if you're coming down to Aguadilla, make sure you come down here to look at this tree house. It's in the tree. In the tree house. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. You want to just turn them up in there? <laughs> There's kids up there. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You pull the kayak huh? Oh, yeah. That is pretty awesome. That's a cool tree house. Yeah. It's literally in the tree. <laughs> So, definitely a cool place if you're coming down here with the kids or just looking for a cool little park to hang out at. This is this will be it. I like it. Okay. I gotta charge my battery up, y'all. <laughs> Whoa! Continue for one kilometer. That is a steep drop. Good night. That was crazy. <laughs> that is that is surely a sharp left. <laughs> sharp left with a sharp fall. left is straight down. Well, this is definitely in the cut. Oh my goodness. Well, we are heading toward our next adventure for the day. Um, which apparently is up in the hills. Take the next right onto Calle Piedra Blanca, then turn left. In 600 meters, keep left to stay on Calle Piedra Blanca. Oh. Is that supposed to be down here? Yep. Hey. <laughs> you talking about right here? No. I don't know about going down there. You don't know about that? <laughs> Turn around right here. There are some cars down there, so we're gonna try. let's see what's going to happen. Oh my right, gosh. Go. Wait, let me go pick a turnaround. 
really testing your skills today. We got to go down here. I don't even know if I'm going to make this turn. You okay? You okay? I'm saying that, but I'm scraping. Take the next left onto Kaya K5. I'm out of street now. <laughs> you did it. Just take your time. In 600 I meters, keep oh, going to on Kaya Piedra Blanca. Sharp left toward Kaya K5, then turn right onto Kaya K5. So I can't even go In 400 meters, your destination will be on the right. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. <laughs> we gonna go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know how to get us in some interesting situations, don't I? It's definitely off the beaten path. Yup. They on bikes. No, they ain't. They walking bikes. <laughs> Your destination is on the right. Yeah. It is? I think this is it. Is that it? No, that's not it. I don't know where it is. Oh, it says a sign right there. Huh? It says a sign right there. Okay, I guess that's we passed it. I guess we'll back up and go back up. Is that it? <laughs> okay, so we're find it, trying to find it must be it. This earth ship. Bioarchitecture. So that's, that's oh that is it. Do you see somewhere to park? No. It's just um no entry without earth ships to earth ship Puerto Rico. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold up. We, we did make it. <laughs> Good job, love. <laughs> we gonna see what this is about. Yeah. <laughs> see y'all on the flip side. We made it. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. <sighs> so, get to see the Earth ship. We got us an escort. Don't mess around and get tangle yourself up. Oh. Come on. Come on. You're gonna get caught up in that. Well, guess he's okay. That's something he does. So this is made out of natural and recycled materials. Sorry, he spent some time in Mexico learning all about earth ships. All the roofs here catch rainwater and they take that rainwater to the system. There's um there's four systems, each system holds a thousand gallons. I eat quattro systems. I'm a partner. That's the well that uh they use normally, you know. Uh, but when the power goes out they switch over. To the rainwater, which is being filtered 
and everything. So here we go. It's like we have Toto, Toto with us going into this wonderland. <laughs> So the shower water sits in the tank. This is cool. So they recycle their gray water to use for the bathrooms. And be, I mean, I'm sorry for the garden. That is amazing. So it's just crumbled. So you keep the solid away from the. Don't do number two. <laughs> Would you take a shower in here? I know I sure would. That's cool. That fruit grows on the vines here? Passion fruit, wow. Uh, this is the first one they did on the farm. Um, so it's, you know they didn't they didn't get a lot of practice here. Mm -hmm. So when they built it, they had so the ceiling is insulated with all of these recycled plastic bottles. Well, plastic bottles that they recycle to use this insulation. Instead of using bricks or anything like that, we use car tires. Mm -hmm. So a car tire, you can't get it big here. Mm -hmm. It's just stacked like bricks, right? Each car tire is filled with up to 300 pounds of clay, gravel, and sand. Mm -hmm. And we pack it all in there. Because a few people, the first time, they get hard. Why should get up here? That is amazing. <laughs> oh, this one's got a movie screen. <laughs> so all the names of these volunteers are people who just came over 12 days just to help with this place to help build up and take care of this place so they get volunteers pretty fre frequently that is cool that is cool this one looks nice it's kind of bad oh wow <laughs> It's really nice and cool in here. You can definitely rent this out on Airbnb. So this would be your view, one of your views, staying in the Airbnb, food production, and you even got a little friend sitting out here, he's thinking, pondering, very cool. Funny thing is, I'm in the baño. He said I can actually use it while we're here on the tour. So if you do come and nature calls, you can take care of yourself in the earthship. I'm not going to record that. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace.
So what we did, we, we took the goat into the house. We didn't want to get blown away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put it in the house. And, you know, we just kind of put all of our animals in the house. And it was a mess, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, so do that it right there. She showed me the pineapples. Oh, that's the flower. And then the, oh, that is the pineapple. And it's gonna grow. I always wondered what a pineapple looked like as it was growing. <laughs> this is amazing. We stand here paying for lupus. These things grow right on the trees down here. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see. We got some some mandarins. And then what? up there, let me go this way. Oh, she's getting some. We got a whole bag right now. <laughs> go ahead, I want one. Oh, you want one? Okay. Yeah. There's the the loofahs going on the tree right there. That is amazing. Oh, I could smell it. It smells good. Sweet. Gracias. And I'm so glad that this Welcome to Rincon. Down into Rincon, that mountain over there. I mean, the island over there. Oh, they Definitely a little busy out here on this Sunday afternoon. At a, this is Playa Maria, but we're trying to get down to Domes Beach. So, look at those cute little paintings. Right down here, some of their local art. Continue on Puerto Rico 4413 for 800 meters. at the Domes Beach. We walked on down. Got some surfers out here today. I wonder what the um, island that is out there. It's small. Beach. There's a bigger one down the road. It's high today. Oh, oh, oh. It's 
spot right there. Parking right here. See that curve in the car? <laughs> That's some tight parking. Good job, man. <laughs> oh man. Oh, crash boat beach. Crash, crash boat beach. How about saying that? Real fast. fast. When you're a little well. tired. A lot of crashing beautiful. going on down here. It is amazing, but it's a hot spot. Yeah. Let me show y'all. It's sun. Yeah. This view is it's something special. But my goodness, it is crowded down there. Yeah, you too small. Those beaches we found on the other side. <laughs> Our private beaches. Yeah. That's about as private as you're gonna get, like right here in this little lagoon area. But all down there, it's all the party goers. It is gorgeous, though. It is spectacular. Look at all of them on the end of the boardwalk. Look at the banana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being thrown on the banana boat. Get on the boat, the banana boat. <laughs> place the people watch. All right, well, we're gonna walk a little ways down. But we know we're gonna have some private beach experience tomorrow. So we're definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> There's some good lighting. Yes, I am good looking. <laughs> you are. Oh, man. All right, y'all. Oh, you said good lighting. We're going to say good lighting. Good lighting. beach but I guess that's why it's called survival beach <laughs> this is a nice one though. more surfers yeah that's what you kept calling it right what it's got a survival beach I think so it's got fly or something fly is survival
Let's see which, where this path takes us. Man, look at this big old coral rock formation. Wow. That is just spectacular. Oh, there's a cave. There's a whole trail up there that you could walk. I saw people going up there. Little. Oh, wow. How cool is that? This coral is tripping me out. It's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna watch my step. <laughs> Go under. Looking at them in this one. They're all over here too, like they were in there. That'd be good. They're all over. It's like that. Dad, I don't know what they are. But it's amazing. So many sea sea critters. Yeah, I saw that one. They all right there. Right there. They almost look like little water bugs. Oh, they're all in here. Look. Yeah. Looks like three of them bumped together in that thing right there. What are they? I think I know what that is. A bike or something. This is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Ah! Breathtaking. All right, guys. Surfers Beach. Fantastic. Definitely come to this beach. They even have a hiking trail, which looks a little precarious so make sure you're a good hiker but it is beautiful it's small but it's quaint it's a little quiet today on a sunday evening it's not too hard to get into but it is a beautiful beautiful beach they have some surfers out here today but they got some little rock formations and coral formations that you can climb on and climb around if the tide is low enough so highly recommend this one 400 meters turn right onto cliff road all right y'all made it to isabella nice little town. definitely more food yep nice town the beach is right over there on the side of those vehicles and we did see some surfers out there today seems like they charge for parking more mm -hmm. in this area so there's the beach down there. Playa Yobos? Yep. Yeah, Playa Yobos. Yobo? Yobo? <laughs> I don't know how you say Yobos. One. Wobos. If it's one. Playa. But there's like um, three more beaches along this road. So we're just going to keep on rolling out and seeing just what the area looks like. So. What people we'll do. show y'all what we see. Definitely got to be a good parker down here. You want to hit one of these uh, parallel parking spaces. Well, not. Oh, 
Airbnb. The average parking down here is like 10 bucks that we've seen so far. Most of these people charging. Get on the street. Yeah, you can risk it. This person rent, uh, charging on their private property. Yeah. That's cool. Make hey, you gotta history. make it work. Mm -hmm. Shoot. I think that's an Airbnb. That's an Airbnb. Mm -hmm. That trailer. And the, uh, the, the RV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tell y'all what, we have had some beautiful drives on this island. It is gorgeous. We can it definitely is. say that. Love driving this thing. I haven't felt bad about driving and all that stuff. It took us like three hours. From one tip to the other tip? Mm-hmm. From one, yep. Yeah. Sure did. So, when you get the opportunity. Oh, that's a nice little Sabella. villa right there. Isabella is, is really nice. If you get, when, when, when you get the opportunity yeah, like to that. come to Puerto Rico, definitely. Well, you have to rent a vehicle if you want to go anywhere. But make some time to explore the whole island or as much of it as you can. Absolutely. It's not too difficult to drive, but I ain't the one that been driving, but Linwood would say <laughs> it's not too difficult. Defensive. <laughs> yes. A lot of defensive driving and uh, aggressive when you have to, or assertive when you have to. Yes, uh, hit some of them narrow roads. But it is so beautiful and it's such a variety of landscapes to see while you're driving. So, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Look at this little biking path on the side. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna find the next beach. I like this area. They had a whole little bike trail, walking trail that went down the road and then across it and then over onto the uh, beach and you can ride along the coastline. That was cool. We are definitely coming back up this way. <laughs> Very nice. Did you just see that water splash up over that hill? Uh -uh. Oh my goodness, there must be a big rock over there. Oh, wow, you can see. Yeah. Oh man, what is this? Christmas are these Christmas trees? They are old Christmas trees. What does that mean? Duna and Deserolo. What's that mean, babe? That is so interesting. There's some really dead trees right there. Wow, look at this beautiful sun setting, y'all. That's spectacular. Oh, my goodness. Come back here with um, ATV or something. I see. I they got all walk. of these road. Tire uh, trails, tracks. All over the place. Yep. Man, this would be fun. <laughs> Protect. Yeah. We'll come back. Something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. Protect the dunes. Oh, there's some people right there. I saw that. I saw that. 
Oh. Oh, I think I think that's that flat rock beach thing. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He's fishing. Look at that eel bag there. Good night. All right. We're just going to breathe this in. <laughs> this is beautiful. Now look at this. You see it's called flat rock? Yeah, that's flat rock right there behind our heads the whole beach is middle middle's beach mm -hmm. middle's beach yep. because it's been spelled again no they oh. not spell middle oh. m-i-d-d-l-e-s oh. <laughs> oh. go this way though because of the sun we're going oh, i'm gonna show all of oh them. okay <laughs> i'm just trying to I'm get the some i'm the director of this one i'm lighting. the director of this one <laughs> That's the sun oh. set that's happening. Oh my gosh. We're just a little further in. We were on the northwest furthest tip. Yeah. We would have been able to see the sun set, but it was crowded. It started getting crowded in some of the areas we were. So we just came and started oh, coming down on. the north side Long. and seeing this. see more people go where they, you can actually park more more people over there, walk down there? all the way yeah. okay this is insane here and get in. You still got to be careful of some of the soft areas where it changes, gets deep, some are shallow, but we got the little rocks. Come on, this will be a cool place just to come and sit in the pool and cool off. Right here. Whoa! <laughs> and the views are amazing. I did. <laughs> wow. But it does definitely get deep in some places. So you got to be careful. But this is cool. Wow. I would just sit right here. Apparently you would too. <laughs> See that's like deep right over there. And then these little waves come in. Those waves are powerful. Incredible. 